Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Slope Podcast, your weekly 46 group podcast where we talk about Yoshimoto Zaka 46, Kayaki Zaka 46, Kayaki Zaka 46, and of course, the big bad dog in the house, Nogi Zaka 46. Yeah. Um, I'm your host, Jimmy, along with my co host, Boykun. Hello. Normally we got Mr. Josh Box here too, but uh, he's still living it up in in Japan, dude. He is. Um, he went to a hiragana handshake event. Yeah. He can read yeah, yeah, his reports wanna... on his Twitter. Yeah, uh, dude. I I'm so sad that I missed uh, Josh Box. That your name Yonitani Nanami did not say glow up tenani. <laughs> like she would have understood that shit, dude. <laughs> I bet you, cause he like. He 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 did like the the shy Josh Box voice, you know. Like there's yeah. the Josh Box that talks to us, mm-hmm. and then there's the Josh Box that talks to other people. He's like, oh, hello, hello. hello <laughs> <yes."> <laughs> he he should have like, went all out. He's like, oh, uh, uh, go, go, y- 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 no, grow up <laughs> And she's just in like, her oh, head. I, she was probably like, glow up Tenani, but <laughs> <laughs> she's just like, ah, I can't deal with this right now. Mm. I got to go say must. As far as my head cannon, yeah, that's exactly what happened. It, it happened just in her head. Mm-hmm. I mean, like if you read his handshake reports, it's like really short, right? But yeah, yeah, uh, that's it. Probably didn't take. It probably took longer than that, right? Because of like them mm. trying to communicate. Yeah, but yeah, like if I, I, okay. if I'm just reading it, it just feels like they talk for like two seconds. <laughs> Hey, I'm from America. Oh, thank you. And then he leaves. <laughs> well, he also, um, he didn't do these right away, right? He kind of did mm-hmm. these um, afterwards, I think. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like... So, oh, yeah. so it's, it's it's more of like a, a, a highlight of mm-hmm. his handshakes, right? Yeah. Um, he did uh, He did get to meet his Oshiman, though. Mm-hmm. The first one out of the trio to meet their Oshiman, dude. Oh, man, he beat us. Um, yeah, he got his handshake with Sasaki Kumi. So, congrats. Uh, if you guys if you guys want, after the show, stop by his Twitter, read his handshake reports, and uh, show him some love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let him know that even though she may not have said it, her globe was indeed psycho deshta, dude. <laughs> cool. Go, yeah. Anyways, how have you been, man? Uh, I've been all right. Been all right. None, none much. Just playing Red Dead Redemption Two. Mm, I'm a cowboy. Being a cowboy. I heard. And, I heard uh, it starts getting really depressing. Yeah, I'm not too far into the game. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's what I heard. Um, like the good parts of it are when you're just actually like exploring and random stuff happen. Yeah, yeah, that's like the best part of it. But yeah, I guess as it goes along, there's like you even with the random stuff that happens, there's some crazy shit. <laughs> it's like that's like every Rockstar game, right? Like yeah, every Grand Theft Auto starts off like what everybody who doesn't play a Grand Theft Auto game thinks of, like just wanton violence and mayhem. Mm-hmm. And then halfway through, it's like, oh, this is getting really sad. Oh no. Yeah, yeah like, like if you actually play the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the story, yeah, like, it starts getting like oh, oh shit. there are, there are consequences to actions. Oh no, yeah, but the the amount of detail they put in is pretty incredible. Mm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good. There's so much stuff to do that I actually don't know what to do. You know, mm. <laughs> should I hunt this wolf? I don't <laughs> know. Should I rob this bank? I don't know, man. Maybe I should go fishing. Maybe I'll, like, rob this train. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? The, the option is yours, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing. What about you, dude? Um, I've been, well, as you guys can probably see, and as we kind of talked in the pre-show, I've been remodeling my room. Hey. Um, on top of that, I was just dealing with uh, some, some family stuff, so mm. what I thought was going to be, like, a two-day remodel took, like probably twice as many days 
Like, okay, I like I broke down everything uh, Friday, right? Uh-huh. And I was expecting at least Saturday to finish painting and then, um, you know, start putting at least the desk up so I can have my computer back on. Ooh, I did not have a computer until uh, yesterday afternoon. Oh, man, that's rough. Yeah, dude. The whole weekend? Mm. Mm-hmm. That is, uh, yeah, that's... How did yeah, you I live? Was... <laughs> dude, I felt... I, okay, I still have a phone, but for whatever reason, I felt so disconnected from the world, dude. <laughs> like, I, I just came back and just scrolled Twitter forever, just like, what have I, what have I missed since I've been gone? <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. But it's good. I'm, I'm excited. I like my new little setup that I have going on for me. Um, I think it'll be very uh, nice and productive for making videos in the future, which I want to get back into doing more of. Mm-hmm. It's always nice to have a refresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk into something new. Plus, like, the layout of my room before was really stupid. Mm-hmm. Like, basically what happened was um, I, I had moved houses, right, from in San Diego, from, my like, where our house used to be. And then uh, the first thing I brought in was my desk. And I just mm-hmm. didn't know where to put it, so I just shoved it in that corner over there. Uh-huh. And then, uh, but then I was going to school in L.A. at the time. So my family helped move the rest of the stuff for me while I was away. Oh. And so they put my desk on my bed where it was. Uh-huh. And it didn't quite fit this long way. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put it this way. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then stuff just kept building up around it. And so I had, like, no floor space. Right. Whereas, like, because I just remodeled, I didn't really, I don't I didn't get rid of too much, but I have room to do, like, jumping jacks. Oh, nice. The room, the room <laughs> yeah, if yeah. I wanted to, which is super nice. Mm-hmm. So. Nice. Uh, that, yeah, and then all the dust that came up from Ooh. reorganizing, I just got super sick. That's fun. Caught the ca- I caught a case of the Josh box. Damn, he's not even in the country, dude. Yeah, dude. Well, we're in the same room. Uh, true true that's true yeah <laughs> but um you know what else has been going on there's a new podcast in town <laughs> oh how dare they they better not be what? talking about no nogizaka 46 but they are it is the purple curtain podcast hey um, hey can be more nogizaka focused you can check them out at curtain purple on twitter yeah, yeah. If you guys want to follow people that actually know what they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's mm, yeah, it's, Bokeh uh, and Rusty. Yeah. They uh they're pretty big Nogi fans. You know? Yeah. So C- come here for like shallow entertainment and news pertaining to forty six group. And then if you wanna like get into Nogi Zaka info, then uh Yeah. Make sure you check out Purple Curtain. Yeah, yep. dude. Um uh, you know they they got like two episodes up right now, so go check them out. Talk about the the deeper stuff, the 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 substance. You know what I mean? We just yeah, yeah. we just bullshit, uh, and so we just talk about crunky commercials, dude. For four <laughs> episodes straight. <laughs> mm, trying to get that money, dude. <laughs> it's nothing but memes and shilling here, dude. Ooh. That's what we're all about. Mm. So uh, yeah, that's no, cool. Always, always good to see more entertainment or yeah. more content around uh, Forty Six Group on YouTube, and you know the fact that it's it's Rusty and Bokeh who've been really active in the community for Nogizaka for for so long, at least on Twitter. It's kind of nice to see them branching out here. Yep. Um, uh, Dystopia in the chat says we got to make sure that we check out his uh, socialist Nogizaka podcast, dude. Where he talks about uh, rising up and about Japanese idols. <laughs> For sure, dude. <laughs> He's mad at me. That's not the joke. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, go check out all those mm. podcasts. I'm oh. sure you will enjoy them. The joke but. is supposed... He, he was a, it was an Iron Curtain joke. Mm. And purple Curtain. Yeah, mm. Snogizaka's purple. Yes, I. Uh... There you go. <laughs> Can we get on to some topics for the week? 
this episode we uh we're kind of doubling up on some of the content <laughs> the chat's so stupid <laughs> God so, damn it. Uh, um, if you guys I'll... are watching this on YouTube, uh, make sure you oh check out God. live when you can for uh, some dank memory. But anyways, um, as you're saying, yeah, the uh, you know, last last week we had a, a joke podcast and we covered Forty Eight Group, but oh, we're back. Go over well, dude. <laughs> but we're back, so we're kind of doubling up on the on the news from from two weeks. So let's get into some of it. Hiragana Kiyakizaka is in a campaign with Ichi, uh, Koko Ichibanya, Dat Curry. Mm. So good. Yeah, dude. I love the Japanese curry. And so, you know, just like every other campaign thing, they're, they're in commercials and, like, there's a uh, hiragana stuff you get when you buy curry and shit. So, uh, it's all good, you know? Um... So the commercial kind of features a, a song of theirs. Um, oh, it's a uh, what's it? Kakizaki Memi, Kosaka Nao, and uh, Watanabe Miho. Yep. I can, I can really get behind these three, so I'm yeah. happy. Uh, we also got from First Gen, Naikumi and Mire, mm. and Katoshi. You know, you do. They're like super airbrushed in this, uh, like oh, promo. The on the website? Promo, yeah, yeah it's, dude. Ooh, it's some. I feel like these belong on like a, like really bad touch up compilation. <laughs> right. Like what's going on here, dude? But yeah, the. Yo, what the heck? I didn't even realize that was Bemiho. I thought that was like Matsuda Konoka for a second. On the bottom there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what the, oh what happened to them dude the more i look at it i'm just like Jesus ah Christ. stop looking ah uh, uh, can't take my eyes off but uh campaign will uh go from the 13th of november to just after christmas the 26th it's a good thing josh box is in here he'd go ham on this mm. well but i mean hey, I, lo- I love i love curry you know yeah, who doesn't too. um you know especially after a long hard day when you just want something with hearty and filling and uh it will warm up your soul and for that i always go to coco ichiban ah uh, yes seems like you can get like clear files or photos or something like that um yeah oh, that's hold on that's the thing i miss about being in la are there any coco <laughs> coco ichibans in san diego <laughs> i strongly doubt the campaign will reach us in the states because if yeah, it did, I'd be like, that. oh, off to Coco Ichiban. <laughs> time to go to Diamond Jamboree in Irvine dude, to make sure you guys got any of the no, <laughs> Hiragana Kiyaki Zaka stuff. I'm going to like, what? keep buying plates until I get like a, a Kyonko photo or something. <laughs> Come on, man. One more. One more plate, sir. Like, uh. There's going to be some American guys like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Where's my kyonk photo? Who? What's a what's a kyonko? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I like uh Coco Ichiban. Good yeah. stuff. It's not my favorite mm. Japanese curry joint. Are you, are you a curry house guy or a Coco Ichiban guy? I think I like curry house more. Well, great. We just lost our sponsor. Uh, I hope you're happy. Oh shit! <laughs> but the best of all is. Go go curry? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here I got. Uh yeah. I, I think what I like about Coco Ichiban is like uh, the variety they give you, right? Mm-hmm. You get, you can get any kind of like filling in your curry. Yeah, yeah. So but, uh, um yeah, on to more hiragana keaki. Oh uh, yeah. You know, uh, we're, we're branching out into the world of K-poop. Oh, yeah. Um, everyone thought Kanji was going to get there first, but no. Hiragana is going to be performing at the 2018 Mama Premiere. Word. The Mnet Asian yeah. Music Awards in Korea. December yeah, yeah, the, 10th. The Mama Awards are huge. All right. Yeah, it's, you know, 
primarily a Korean thing, like a K-pop mm. thing. So it's it's kind of I don't know it's kind of weird to me. It's like yeah, look at all these K-pop artists, but also some other Asian artists. So like you know, like Japan has its own category, and like China or like Hong Kong or like Vietnam has their own. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people are on Twitter are saying, oh, Produce 46 is going to happen. <laughs> this is proof, guys. Because, you know, last year, that's where Produce 48 started, right? With Aki P mm-hmm. receiving the Achievement Award or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And that's when they announced Produce 48. And, you know, that that whole thing happened with, with that shit. Hey, so. you guys like Eyes 1? How about Eyes 46? Uh, oh. no. Please, please yeah, don't. Here again has been uh, just performing everywhere lately. Yeah, dude, they've been on a on a, on a real big mean streak. Yeah, uh, yeah. Here again on a huge tear, uh, which is kind of what Kanji did their first year or two, right? Um, but now Kanji's really like slowed down, and they're kind of, uh, you know, one, once in a while they'll do like the big concerts and a tour, and of course they'll make their rounds doing the TV variety shows, but. Uh, uh, I guess I'm I'm curious to see what happens with Hiragana in a year or two, right? Because mm. every you know, yeah. like if you're a Kiyaki fan, of course you're gonna compare the two, and like right now it's like ah, oh, what kind just gonna, uh, you know, they're not mm. you know very interesting or whatever. But Hiragana's doing all the shit. But then, like, you know, like if you're gonna tell me one of them is Nogi Saka's younger sister group. Everyone would think Hiragana, right? I think hands down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think, yeah, they've because they've really been carving out their own identity, I think they've been really, like, separate from, from Kanji, I think they've been really able to, like, kind of explore that more. Right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering to see what's going to happen since they're adding a lot more activities now. Change the name. Um, so, like, we'll, we'll, like, you know, we'll... Will they end up like Kanji eventually? All, mm. all tired and messed up and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just the, no more joy in their face anytime. Yeah, it's just like... You know, Kasuga nah, and think... Hiragana Oshi be like, Shoot down! <laughs> and they're just like... <sighs> Please. <laughs> but yeah, See, I, I think, good I think for the them. thing is that, that worked out for them, and this is, you know, all conjecture, is they had like the shadows of... Keiaki Zak, a kanji to try to like go past, you know? And so a lot of the girls were very try hard at the beginning on variety, which ended up panning out really well for them. Mm-hmm. Right? Whereas like kanji never really had that because it's like, hey, our first song was a national hit, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. Um, change the name, please. It's not too late, Sony. We can yeah. still change the name. They kind of also had like things to like. They look at Kanji, right? And they're like, oh, we don't want to end up like them. <laughs> Let's not do that one thing that they were doing. You know, it's uh, change it up for only one member. Learned our people. lesson. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know. You know, some more Hiragana news. We got Hiragana Kurismasu Ooh, 2018. Yeah. Yeah, so they're performing at the Mnet Asian Music Awards on December 10th. Coming right back home to hit up three days at the Budokan for mm. this Christmas Live, December 11, 12, 13. 12 and 13. Damn, what a packed four days for Hiragana's, dude. Dude, that's pretty I, I, intense. I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm like so beat up just from remodeling my room for four days. Uh, you know, I, don't, I, don't, I, I can't imagine traveling and performing four days. Yeah, see, because like Kanji used to do a similar thing, right? Where they would just perform all the time. Yeah, they would go ham for like a streak, right? Yeah, especially that one summer. Uh, oh, they, the infamous summer, dude. You know, where from. they did the tour. <laughs> the Dead Tetchi. And the uh, uh, Tokyo Idol Festival, Festival. And Rock in Japan. Rock in Japan. It was like a span of a week, right? Two weekends, and there's like all this shit happening. But yeah, they're, Kiragana is kind of going through the same hopefully this is just like. like a 
like a quick one off thing and they'll be like, Okay, get some rest now. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, we'll see. I guess as far as big concert type things go, this may be the last thing they do. Uh, mm. but you know, not gonna count out like end of the year music shows type of thing. Yeah, like you know? an M like an M stay or finesse. Yeah. They have yet to hit M Stay, which I thought they would have. Especially with the album release, right? Yeah, but I guess it's still a little bit too confusing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll uh, do. We already had Kayaki Zaka yeah. last week. No, but that's is... uh, the other one, dude. Yeah. Tamori's like, uh. <laughs> Where's Where Hirate? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Uh, we'll see. But uh, moving on along. We've got a lot of book news. Oh, yeah. Time for the books, dude. Um, most importantly, first, Kiaki book. Mm-hmm. Um, marking the return, at least for this book. Shoot a Monica. Ooh. Wanted to talk about this last week, but we're doing the other group. Yeah, we, uh, this was... Uh... This news was released a while back. Okay, so last week, like, all we knew was that they revealed that she would be participating in the photo book, right? Um, I believe the photo- photographer she worked with was the photographer that shot, like, Neru's photo book and a few others. So I was like, okay, interesting. We'll see how this goes. We'll and see. then... Uh, yeah, they had, a, uh, they had a showroom stream mm-hmm. where, uh, you know, they, they featured each member working with a different photographer um and he, and he showed off everyone like uh who were still active right like 18 of them yeah, uh, yeah. you know uh and then he was like but wait there's more and he's there's like there's more look at, this is always picture and they're like oh my god and then okay that's cool we have 19 and he's like wait there's more and he's like this is Sheeta's picture and they're like oh shit Look at her, she looks so healthy. <laughs> Dude, she And then you think so it's over, but then he's like, no, here's the last one. And it's like the Imaizumi yeah, set of photos. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh my god, there's 21. Everyone's in here. It's All of nice. them. It's, it's, I, 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 as soon as that thing was announced, I instantly pre-ordered. Because yeah. I, I need to like, you know, this, like, this is the last time we're going to see the original 21 member lineup. Mm-hmm. Even though they're not all together, together. in the it's same in place, work, maybe right? who knows? Maybe like at the end of oh, the book, oh. you'll get a surprise fo- like group photo. If, if such a thing exists, you'll see me cry live Say on some camera. Slow gasms in the from. chat there, dude. You know, mm. when, uh, when I do that photo book review, I'm just gonna turn to the last page and just. Uh, <laughs> 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 Ugly <laughs> cry <laughs> as it like fades out in the video. Yeah. Not gonna get my hopes up, but if, if that happened, yeah, that'd be it, really be nice. Um, but yeah, it's called Nijuichinin no Mikansei. And uh, we have a Twitter page for it and everything. You can go to Ooh. Keaki underscore first for that. Uh, they've been slowly releasing, you know, preview photos of everyone. Um, it looks very nice, of course. Gonna be well over a hundred pages or something like that. At least that's mm. what they said on showroom, and so they they're all gonna have a a, a good number of photos in there. Yeah. So the scroll, the scroll. release date is November twenty one. <gasps> so that was the first thing they released, right? The on uh, the um the details. It's the release date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like oh, it's been there all along, dude. I, I like I like that they always do that. You know. Mm-hmm. The release date always has like something to do with the thing. Let's go down to the the Sheeta picture though. Put that, put that up. She looks so good, dude. Oh my god, dude! I I, I literally it was weird. I think it was because of the lack of sleep, but I, I I started tearing up when I saw it. <laughs> Just like, oh, she's doing all right. She looks so good. She's smiling. Yeah. Um, you know what? It, it like put so much ease in my heart that even if she announced graduation afterwards. Like, of course, I'd be sad, but I'm like, hey, dude, as long as you're happy. Yeah, like, you got to it's, see it's, it's not like she just, you know, disappeared kind of thing, right? 
Because yeah. a lot of I think a lot of people were afraid that if she did announce her graduation, like you would never see her again, right? She was just like, oh yeah, she just she is just gonna She's leave. Not, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, the last time you would have seen her was like back in April or whenever or May or some shit like that, right? Yeah. When she announced yeah. her hiatus. So it's like, <laughs> But yeah, at least I think there was like a, a Friday scandal or a Shun Kombunshin, I can't remember which one, where they're like, oh, Shida Monica is going to announce her graduation soon. And like, I think that was a couple weeks back. And uh, I, we didn't report on it because it was just a rumor and they never followed up on it. And rumor. It but that got me really freaked out. Mm. But then uh, at least seeing this now, even if it was true, I had uh, yeah, just a little bit of peace in my mind, you know? Yeah. I put the... F- Kind of put your fans at ease and shit, yeah. but uh, you know our favorite uh, photo book photographer, um, Nakamura Kazutaka, mm. he uh, shot Rika's photos. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that was the Shirai Shimai's photo book, right? He shot, shot Passport by Shirai Shimai. Dosuru. Dosuru Koji Maharuna's yeah. book. So he's he's shot uh, most of my favorite um, photo books. I think Shirai Shimai is the only one he shot from Sakamichi series, though. Mm. Let, me, let me look up his. his if you book. wanna, maybe you wanna make sure. But um, you know, each member was paired with a different photographer. Um, yeah, you, know, you said Shida's photographer was the same. Uh, person who did uh, Nehru's book. Um, my Oshi. Reese's photographer is some Polish dude. Oh. What's his name? Machikucha or something. I guess he he's active in Japan. Um, and they were saying that um, he did some of the Mechakari stuff before. So I think they, they have worked with him before. Oh, um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting. Each uh, photo set, I guess, has a title and a theme to it. So, guys, is like some VR. That's interesting. So, pretty cool. I'm going to have to pre order this soon. <clears throat> Comes out mm. next week. Uh, at the oh, time of this, of, of this, uh, I cannot wait. Recording. So. Yeah, dude, it's gonna come just in time for Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Yeah. See, my my video is gonna just be me eating turkey. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, it seems like uh, Nakamura Kazutaka also shot the uh, Fukugawa Mai muk. The muk. When are we going to shoot our own photo book, dude? Oh, let's do it, dude. It's weird. So, um, for... You guys, well, you guys, you know, but uh, for people of you, um, I have friends that run a maid cafe. And uh, I often go to take photos and videos for them for their events and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, we might be shooting a maid, like the a, a photo book of the maids. Oh, pretty soon. here we go, dude. You should take your favorite shots from yeah, the various yeah. Sakamichi series photo books and uh, just copy those and take passport. I can't, I can't do wait this to one. Be, yeah, I can't wait to be working with them that made some like, all right, now, now, now brush your teeth. You're like, wait, what? Just do it. Trust me. Do the toothbrushing one. Yeah, dude. Everyone, everyone's going to like comment on like, yo, dude, I really like this. Uh, this is perfect. Toothbrushing dude. picture, dude. It's so good. See, and then you, you develop... Like, look at these. And then you become, you shoot, like, a Sakamichi series book in the future. That's all I want, dude. That's I feel like I can't do that stuff. Because, like, you have to command them, right? Like, not command, but, like, you got you to gotta tell them what to do and shit. Mm-hmm. And have to be, like, very uh, assertive, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I can't do that, dude. It's... <laughs> Unless I'm, like, I have a very good working relationship yeah, that, that's how it has to be. Like, uh, you kind of have to just be, like, from my experience, like, I'm not, like, the most established portrait photographer or anything like that. You know, like I said, I mainly just do it for, like, the maid cafe or whatever kind of press stuff I have to do. 
you know, pro- that, that stuff's kind of more event photography, right? Which is very different where you... Mm. Um, you just kind of roll with the punches kind of... Yeah, thing, it's like... more about like trying to find like the incidental moments that are like very aesthetically pleasing. I find that like the less you direct, the better it is. You mm. know what I mean? In terms of like, you don't say like, all right, now pose like this and do this. Like, it's more about like, like all right, you know, like I want you to think about something that makes you happy or some shit, you know, like... Like, if I can, like, joke around with them, I try to catch those moments, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I kind of bring, I guess, my kind of event photographer mo- thing in it. So it feels kind of candid, but it is, right. like, directed. Just not like, all right, now put your arm here and then laugh. See, yeah, you kind of have to do that, right? Because, like, a photo book is very controlled. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got like... to pose them and shit. Like... Yeah, you can't be like, okay, lay on this bed and think horny thoughts, right? Right. Stick, stick your ass up more. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was watching like a video on a guy who does like boudoir photos and stuff like that. It, it, it just came up on my autoplay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like I, you know, I watched a lot of like photo to- photography videos and stuff, so it came up and I was watching. And yeah, it's very much like, hmm, this angle, I, I think it could be a little bit better. All right, put your yeah, put your put your butt up more, you know. And I, I feel like I'd be a little bit too bashful. Right. I can't, I can't tell that too. Should I, might Maybe I can. Oh, yeah. Higher. <laughs> <laughs> pull, pull them shorts down oh, more. That is, that is better. That <laughs> is better. Yeah, dude. But the thing is, we just got to channel our, our maximum lewd, and that will get the best photo. Yeah, load, maximum lewd to, but very professional. <laughs> but, um. We got some more photo books coming out, man, from Sakamichi series. Inoue, Sayuri, Sayu Nyan, finally releasing a first photo book. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Yes. Um, Sayu Nyan is one of my favorites. Um, she is... Uh... You remember that one episode of Nogizaka Kojichu? Where she was like... Uh, the theme was like, what do you want to do for the 7th anniversary of Nogizaka 46? And she's like... I want to release a photo book. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she had a title for it and everything. And she even had a mock photo book that Ito Marika shot on her sure. iPhone. And she, like, printed it out and everything. They made it happen, dude. Let's go. They I... actually did it. The the mad lads, they did it. And um, another thing, when they were, like, talking about it on the episode, it's like, oh, yeah, if we had it, you know, if we had a photo book, or if you were doing a photo, where would you want to go for it? And she's like, maybe Switzerland? And they went to Switzerland. Goddamn. Look at those mountains and and them, goats. Them Alps, dude. Mm. That nature. It's great. Uh, the book is called Sonzai. And it's going to be released December 12th. You know I'm buying that shit. Mm. Let's go. I look forward to your, your video. Oh yeah, you can follow the Twitter account at one st seven one eight four five nine one four. What do these numbers mean? Yeah, well, first. Yeah, that's uh, you know, like first photo book. Yeah, what is what is seven? Does anyone know enough about her? To, yeah, post uh, in the chat if you if you know what that's supposed to mean. Yeah, we'll, we'll this is like very usually it's just like. It would be like Sai Yunyan first Sai, or yeah, something like that. Photo, yeah, yeah. But uh, it, it, it ain't. <laughs> I don't Maybe know. they just made this account and then like just punched the numpad. Change, like <laughs> forgot to change the uh, the handle. You know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's an easy change. There's also yeah. an Instagram account. Um, and this is easier because it's just Sai Yunyan underscore Nogizaka. Hmm. I, I need to follow these Instagrams, dude. I don't know why I don't. Mm-hmm. I think it's because, like, I don't even have the illusion of it being, like, them posting it, you know? Because I know it's just, like, some manager doing it. Yeah, it's just straight up, like, you know, promo for the book, right? So it's... Yeah. It's like, nah, dude, I follow this to, like, get into your life, dude. Yes. But, uh, moving right along, we got... Another photo book. Oh, who? This one has been in the waiting for quite some time. We got that key chain, dude. Oh, yeah. 
Mm, Finally. It's about time. Keychain. Photo book. This, this photo book was shot last year, right? As far as I understand, before her hiatus. Yeah, I don't actually know the details. All I saw was the, was that like a newspaper article saying that she was releasing a photo book. And then, you know, she went on hiatus. And we did not hear of it ever again until now. Mm. So. So is this going to be from like back then? Like all the same photos? Or do you, do you think they like went yeah, and did they? Yeah. The thing is, it's, it's, it says they, she went to Sweden for this. Um, mm. See, I don't remember them saying anything about that before. So I don't so maybe, know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know. But um, I want to think it's, you know, they just went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And shot everything. Look, there's a reindeer, dude. <laughs> mm. Um. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully this is signs of more keychain to come in the future, man. I really missed her. Oh yeah. So it's gonna be released uh, December twenty seventh, just after Christmas. I'm guessing uh, it's gonna be that theme, not Christmas theme, but more like wintry, kind of like Nana Means book, right? With yeah, the yeah, snow yeah. and stuff. Ooh. No disgusting bikinis, dude. Mm. But we might get disgusting lingerie if it's like Nana Means. Ah, yes. Lingerie. If you can't go outside and do glamorous pool shots, just stay inside and do the lingerie. Mm. Right? Yeah, yeah, dude. It's like. It's all good. It's still the same, like, lines, right? Mm hmm. Like, as far as, like. You know. Yeah. You know. You, you lewd people. You lewd boys. It doesn't have a title yet, but, you know, it's still far away. So, pick that up, guys, if you're into the keychain. Mm, you better be. We all are. Um, it's crazy. Like, a, a lot of Nogizaka members all have photo books, dude. And they've gone to different places, like, all of them. Yeah, yeah, the 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 budgets on these have been pretty intense. I don't think there's any repeats, are, are there? Uh, Mayan and Nanase. No, I meant like as as far as location oh, locations. goes. Oh, locations. Oh, I meant like people who got photo uh, Passport was in L.A. or West Coast, yeah. rather, and like you know these two, Sweden and Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think they've all uh, had uh different locations. She knew cheese was in Thailand. Right. So someone went to Spain. I think it was Wakatsuki. She went to Spain. Mm. Misa's was in Australia. Right. Like all these locations. They, they're eventually gonna run out of countries. Right. Like Corey was there. in like Vegas. Right. Yeah. What a waste, dude. They, they send someone back to Vegas, dude. Let's right. get. Some... Let's get some actual like Vegas lights. Maybe her like. On but the strip, you know. she got like a cigarette. In the, <laughs> the slots and sh- <laughs> it's just the shit. I, I don't know the Sashi Hot Arena. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Oh, scandalous! But it's cool, man. Um, right, even adding Kiyakizaka books, right? Even more location, right? Yeah, yeah. Paris Greece. and like Greece, crazy. Yeah. Um, but so it's our it's our favorite news to give. Um, and that is, Passport is on another reboot. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Stop buying this book. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Keep buying this book. Thank you. I mean, let me just say that the first time that we hung out with Josh Box was when Passport was released. Yeah, what a wonderful book. Look at what and it brought us. And it's still being reprinted now, dude. <laughs> so like, 49 episodes into a podcast together <sighs> later. It is uh, the twenty second reprint for Passport. They they printed another ten thousand copies, which is kind of insane. It's up to three hundred and thirty thousand copies printed now or sold, maybe. But, That's uh, enough for everyone in Iceland to have one. Oh wow! Yeah, we're we're getting up there to the big boy countries, right? Yeah, dude. That like is... it used to be back in the day, I'd be like, oh, it's enough for everyone in the. British Virgin Islands, like, okay. or Gibraltar to have one. Nah, dude, we're up Iceland. into Iceland now. 
you know, they have a soccer team and everything. Yeah, dude. But yeah, it's uh, the last reprint of Passport was on is in August. Um, are we back with another? No, we're actually on a twenty third reprint. Jesus, dude, what the hell? That is uh kind of crazy to me. But um, you know what other other book? Well, you know, Passport came out last year, right? But yeah, this yeah. year, the reigning champion of photo books is Nehru's photo book. Mm. Which is up to two hundred thousand copies printed. That's uh, that's it's called pretty Coco gnarly, dude. Yeah, it is. That's 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 a lot, dude. Yeah, dude. That's like enough for everyone in Samoa to have one. Mm-hmm. See, they all had Mayan's book. Now they can all have Nehru's book. Mm-hmm. Like, and those two photo books combined. Is like enough for everyone in Guadalupe or Cape Verde to have one, dude. Damn. Yeah. Amazing. That's also pretty crazy, right? Like, who would have thought Nehru's book would sell so many copies? Like, yeah, I did not see that coming. You know, I guess I guess people really wanted to see her betray her family. <laughs> <laughs> Top ten anime betrayals. That's still my favorite meme to come out of that book, dude. It's just awesome, right, man. the betrayal. Like my daughter, how could how you? It is. It's just like, oh, how could you? I didn't actually buy this book. Um, so I, I, I gave it a good look over. It's uh, it's decent. Okay. It's definitely decent. Um, do you, is it the best Kayaki book so far? Do you think like solo book? Yeah, yeah, probably. But to be fair, I wasn't uh, the the biggest fan of uh, Rika's, mm. and then Sugai Sama was okay i see yeah well there you go good job neru mm-hmm. i mean if you're gonna betray your family at least you're doing it right you know yeah <laughs> in the west best way possible but uh we got some more books but this time it's an actual book you read mm. you get uh, education dude get educated well no, it's, fiction, it's a novel but still, yeah <laughs> but it's uh but it's probably based on, I don't know, something. Something. It's a, it's a book by the Kaz herself. Mm, yes. Right? She's been, uh, been like, kind of serializing it in a, ma- in a magazine since 2016. It's called Trapezium. It's a story about a young girl aiming to become an idol. Right, released yep. on 2018. We got a little, little Amazon buy page. Yeah, you can you pre-order it now. It comes out on the twenty eighth. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's cool, man. Uh, you know, Kaz, this isn't her first book. Well, this is the first <laughs> fiction book, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She released that book about saving money or whatever, um, a while back, I think. I remember. Uh, let's see this Amazon link. Yeah, it came it out. Like on by Takayama Kazumi. Came out last September. Yeah, Okane Gazuto. So, it's about money, budgeting or something. But this time, she has an actual novel coming out. It's so funny if you go to her uh, Amazon author page, Mm -hmm. because her photo book is also listed as... Oh, yeah. So, it's like, oh, here's a a book on budgeting. Here's a photo book. And then here's a a young adult novel, dude. Hey, Kaz getting out there, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, dude. You gotta diversify, right? That's very diversify cool. your bonds. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, uh, seems interesting. I think it's like the idea that an actual working idol in a very popular group herself is the author of a fiction book about a young girl aiming to be an idol. Mm-hmm. I think is a uh, very interesting because yeah. you know she's got actual insight into the. Yeah. The industry, right? So it should be an interesting story, at least, if you're into idols. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, so, pretty cool. Congratulations, Kaz, on that one. Uh, but that's it for the book news. We're done. Mm. Let's move on to some more news. Uh, Nogizaka. Wakatsuki Yumi is graduating this month. Oh. Well, ne- next month, I guess. 
Um, mm. Her uh, graduation ceremony will be held at the Budokan on December 4th. Hey, let's go. Oh, yeah. So I, I'm just, I'm assuming this is going to be a concert, right? It's not just like a, yeah, yeah. a thing people show up and like. She walks up and gets her diploma. Right. <laughs> yeah. Music plays. Yeah, I, kind of, I didn't think it was a little interesting leaves. that they called it a. Uh, was it Sotsugyo Ceremony? Yeah. Right? Um, that's uh, the actual wording that they used. Mm-hmm. Um, so I wonder what that's going to entail. I mean, I, I, I'm hoping that means it's going to be more than just a concert. Like, there might be other yeah. happenings and stuff like that. Well, yeah. What if it's like a more wakatsuki theme? You know, there'll be like art stuff. and Yeah, like, yeah. You know, Multimedia, more, dude. Yeah. You know, stuff pertaining to her, like, hobbies and interests and personality and stuff. And then they'll have a concert, right? Mm-hmm. Um, which is interesting. She might have, you know, she might, like, talk to the yeah, audience yeah. for a bit, like a talk segment or something. Let me let me curate some art at you, dude. Right, uh, yeah, she might, like, talk about her art and, like. Yeah. It'll be interesting, definitely. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get we'll keep you guys posted. It's gonna be December fourth, so it's coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, turns out it's just a concert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you just call it a graduation <laughs> concert? Damn it. No, hopefully, I'm I'm hoping that it's gonna be more to it. Mm-hmm. Um, up next, we got some visuals finally of the Zambi Project Stage play. Mm-hmm. Um. Basically, the the two teams have been shown in the outfits. Finally, some details. What what do you think, boy? Uh, the little promo images look kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, we got the the cast like standing in front of you know a uh, post apocalyptic looking Tokyo dystopian future. Some, I I'm guessing flower petals. It looks like flower petals on the blue one. Yeah. And on the re- wait wait a second. Hmm. What is what did you just find Oh uh, you What happened? The fo- the flowers were added in post, right? Yes. Obviously. But they used the exact same one. So oh like, yeah. It is they just like recolored it. <laughs> mm. They just recolored it. The Look only thing that it. changes is, like, the color and the members. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, you guys are lucky Mr. Box is in here. He would be upset. outraged. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they re- revealed the cast, of course. We got um, uh, two from Nogi, two from Kanji, two from Hiragana. And um, they are playing the same people. Uh or like the characters, right? So like Yoda and Kubo are playing the same character. Mm-hmm. Yamashita and Umezawa, same character, and so on and so forth. So they released the um, schedule already, and we went over that a while back. So um, yeah. you go to their Twitter, there's more stuff. Zambi underscore project. There's more photos and articles you can just I, Google Translate. I really like the outfits. Um, mm. You know, usually, especially when it comes to like performance outfits and stuff like that, mm-hmm. uh, I I always have like some minor complaint about it or something like that. But these are so inoffensive that there's like literally nothing to complain about. I actually just genuinely like them. Yeah, yeah. Um, it it kind of reminds me of. Uh, What's it? like one of the older Nogizaka outfits? Can't right, remember. right. It's yeah, it's simple and nice. I uh, mm-hmm. but there's some little details that I like. Um, I like the uh, like the piping on the collar and the and the cuff. <laughs> mm. If you look at like the collar, there's it's like a darker blue. Yeah, yeah. Like just the minor the detail, but the, yeah, it's a uh, it's nice. And of course, in Nogizaka style, everything's tailored so that, you know, the head, like, the bottom of the skirts are all the same heights, regardless of the individual member heights. Mm-hmm. So, like, if, uh, if Kyonko wore habus, 
It'd be like all the way down to her Ooh. ankles. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a shot on uh, the, I think it's this, the second newest tweet. Oh no, it's the newest uh, not pinned tweet. And then uh, it's a picture, and it's like, you know, Katoshi. Um, oh yeah. Riria, no, no, Kubo. Sorry. Um, si- uh, blah, 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 Sugai Sama and Umezawa. You know, v- all three very different heights. But look at that. Uh, Look at that skirt leg, dude. Mm, the tailoring. Why didn't they just uh, make Kabu and Umezawa play the same character? They're like the same height. That's kind of weird. Oh, right. Because it's, it's like pretty, you know, straightforward. Oh, the two Nogi members will just be the same. Be the same. And the same with Keiaki Zaka, right? So. Could have switched it up there, but. But maybe it's because like they're they're in the same group, so they could be like, "Hey, uh, how do you how do you portray this character?" Right? It's easier for sure. them to like communicate since each group is doing their own activities, right? So mm-hmm. Maybe if, yeah. Might yeah. be like, "Oh, I gotta I gotta call Habu and shit." You know, they're they're in Kyoto, and we're doing this shit in Tokyo. What do I do? Instead of like, oh. "Hey, Nen, what's up?" <laughs> Oh, by the way, you know, right? Because they're playing the same game. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe might make it easier, but we'll see. I, you know, hopefully it's not just the stage play because like there's that trailer still, and it like made no sense. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. If if it's just the stage play at this point, I, I might be a little bit disappointed. I'd like to see more. Because there's know, this be like a, a whole project, right? There's this shot of media with the outfit on. Mm. What is it from? But it's nice to see them mingle, finally. Right? Getting getting Kanji some love in there, too. Yeah, try to remind everyone they're the little sisters, too. Yeah. Before they become the forgotten middle child. Oof. Yeah. They're the angsty ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at, look at Millie Love, dude. Um, but yeah. We'll see oh, about man. that zombie stuff later. But, um, yeah. keep going with Nogi stuff. Hey, you got, uh, some promotional stuff for the 22nd single, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, we got the individual PV previews. Yeah. Yo, so you know how it just came out, right? Like, uh, it just released or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a friend who's in Japan right now, mm. and he doesn't really follow idols, like at least Japanese idols at all. He's more of a K-pop fan. Uh-huh. I guess he just happened to go part of his trip. It's uh, his last shopping day, so he decided to go to Tower Records. Mm. And he saw a bunch of Wotas picking up all, work. Six, like, all six different, or like, you know, type A, C, and, uh, A, B, C, and D. So all four different versions or whatever. Yeah, like yeah. Deluxe versions, theater version, whatever. So he ended up picking up uh, Type D. Oh, just nice. Just because he, like, he got caught up in the moment. He's like, hey, do you know this group? I'm like, oh, boy, do I. <laughs> Check out the slow podcast. <laughs> Oh no! I did, I did. I did give him a little. Hey, you know, because if, if you want to know more about it, hey, watch hey. my show. But um, yeah, yeah. So I hope I'm hoping that I can get him into Nogizaka. Nice. I got awfully close because um, I got him into Matsu Irena back when she was in the group. Oh, because he's really into like model trains. So I was like, hey, you know, there's an idol that's. Uh, I have the perfect idol for you, friend. Really, really down with the trains. And then when he saw that she was indeed down with the trains and not faking the funk, he was like. But then she graduated. I'm like, oh, my chance. Matsui Rena is perfect. She's into trains. She's into anime. She's into sneakers. She's into Mm. lollies, too. Mm. Damn. If only she was into JAV, dude. Ooh, maybe she is. Yeah, she could be for all we know. She's a strange one. Freak. Freak like Riri Pong, dude. Ooh. She's the real freak. uh, (laughs) But um, <laughs> yeah, back to the point. You got the you individual, got some individual member P- PVs, right? Which uh, I couldn't find the deets, but the individual member PVs is um, is only the Senbats, so the mm-hmm. twenty one. So we don't have Hazuki eating food, <clears throat> or you know, keychain doing stuff. But um, did you check these out? Let's let's I watched, check out. I watched a few of them. Let's check out R. Oshiman. 
for right. now. I watched I watched Mayans and Hori's and uh, Yoda so far. So Mayans is friggin' adorable. Look at her wearing the Lolita outfit. She has she's she casts magic and shit. I'm like, mm, that magic, yeah. dude. You know, Mayan doesn't do this kind of shit anymore, dude. Yeah, acting all cute and stuff. God damn, very. Nice. Like yeah, That's why that him. narrator gets all hyped, dude. Because he's like, oh, we ain't ever see this, dude. Right. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. She cast magic. It's pretty cute. Um, of course, these are... It's a pun. Magico. Like, yeah. serious girl. But no, she's magical, Magi, dude. Like, magi. Like, serious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, these are only previews. The, you know, you got to buy the single. Get it's that probably- Blu-ray. Right, because it's coming out yeah, with dude. the Blu-ray. You got that nice little bo- Bossa Nova Cafe vibe, dude. It's mm-hmm. really, really nice. And then uh, Hori's is very like trippy and artistic. So it starts off aesthetically, like visually. I feel like it starts off kind of like a perfume video. Oh, uh, yeah, I can see that. But then the music is like this like, like classical piano. And it's like, you know, kind of eerie with like the the wind instruments and some chimes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then like halfway through, it just gets, it just turns into like a baby metal video and it gets really weird. Right. There's like all these hands and shit everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's very like, Oh, maybe you need to watch the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I think uh, there was like a comment in Japanese that really explained it. Well, there's like, um, it's very hoary like, but at the same time, that's really scary. Mm. Like it's a pretty freaky deaky video, mm-hmm. and, you know. Yeah. Makes sense with Hori being Hori. Yeah, yeah. Um, is there uh, another members you wanna? Oh, let's highlight? let's put up Yoda's dude. That thing is Yoda's? cute. AF dude. Oh, she's like the cow and shit. Yeah, it's a picnic. She, she it's like basically like a children's farm animal song or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, the dog says woof. You know, uh, it's move. it's one of these, dude. Yeah, dude. Ah, oh, so cute, dude. There's she's like, always the cute one, dude. Somewhere. Yeah, she's she's in like the outfit for each of the animals and stuff like that. You know, puts on a different wig for each of uh the sheep the is animals, cute, dude. You know? Yeah, dude. The duck. Uh, the chicken's my favorite. Mm. Yeah, dude. <sighs> duck. <It's> so <laughs> cute, dude. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it takes. Me back to that, the Marika one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The seventeen one, and then I don't remember, but it was Nehru, right? Nehru with the um, like all the English stuff. Oh yeah, 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 like irregular verbs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's like dancing and singing. Oh, so good. Um, I like Kazumi's. <laughs> she's like mm. living with the buff dude. <laughs> Oh wait, did I did I watch did this you, one? Did you watch I did it? watch this one. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's so good. The guy's arm is as big as her legs, dude. <laughs> That's goals right there, dude. Uh, I love the end where he like he starts flexing in front of her, and she's like she just laughs, dude. She's like, all right, all right, bro, have fun posing, man. <laughs> He's like, Poo. I don't I don't know who I'd rather be more in this video. Like, Kazumin living with a bodybuilder, <laughs> or the bodybuilder living with Kazumin, dude. Uh, it's so good. Yeah. Uh, it, Kaz. Well, it just feels so, like, casual, right? Yeah, I like the vibe of it. I have mm. no idea what it's about. but Like, I would love a, like, romantic comedy like the, about this. Mm-hmm. You know, like a young J-pop idol living with a, a bodybuilder <laughs> in a shared apartment because of, like, various situation you know right be like good. oh give me that drama dude and all the hijinks that they have to get into yeah which is what this feels like right yeah dude she has to like pass him through the hall but he's too big and he won't like scoot Move over, over. <laughs> it's so dumb yeah he's holding his he's holding his noodles and stuff like that he's like, oh, yeah can't, can't drop my gains dude <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one I, i'm definitely I, i'm definitely looking forward to uh yeah the full versions of a lot of these. Mm-hmm. Um, Umezawa's though, American Diner. Oh yeah, she's but, got the uh, the outfit on. Yeah, but uh, Diner is spelled wrong. 
diner. Maybe it's on purpose. Yeah, I don't know. You die. Yeah, do, did we did we die here? I don't know. We have to watch the... Because it does get all dark at the last half, right? Yeah. But I, I can't tell if it's just going for that, like... I want to think it's like died. some well, like weird Tarantino type shit where, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, someone gets brutally beaten at the end or something. <laughs> yeah, dude, like, she's serving the food and then, like, a random white woman shows up with a katana in hand. <laughs> <laughs> like, zooms in on her eyes and shit, like... <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> Starts throwing plates, like... <laughs> Oh, she looks really good in this uh mm-hmm. this video, so yeah, you know, can't complain there. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Nishino's yeah. is like all the power harassment shit, dude. Oh yeah, dude. What? <laughs> She's all the boss. As a as a do M, mm. let me say thank you, Nishino. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> She's like yelling at him. But, uh, you, you know she like was like, hey, this is my last individual PV. Let me just be a JoJo character in IRL. Dude. <laughs> uh, ja yeah, Naika. I'm, I'm waiting for her to like just grab the lapels of her jacket. Just, yeah. And then like a stand comes out and it's like Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the cow outfit from the other <laughs> Oh shit! Stop platinum. I like in the anime how they like say ja. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ja, ja, naika. <laughs> like, what do they say it like that? <laughs> God damn it! Uh, wait, wait, isn't wait. part five the the anime that's airing mm-hmm. right now? That's mm-hmm. Nishino's favorite, right? ゴブが好きで一部からの主人公って全員ジョって作る徐々なんですよ主人公がでもゴブはあの一応ジョなんですけどジョルのジョバーナっていういやいやフェイブスパート5イスザフュジョシベイああ I like how, like, in the anime, it's like, oh, the gang members, they try to be as, like, they try to blend in as much as they can. But, like, the characters, they're all, like, all flamboyant and shit, like, with their outfits. Like, bruh. It is the most flamboyant part, and I love it. That is and, not blending uh, in with the crowd. Bruno Bucciarati looks like Shinoda Mariko. Oh, <laughs> she got the hair, dude. <laughs> got the helmet, dude. Uh, yeah, dude. Shinoda Rachi, dude. <laughs> Yeah, Anyways. the individual PVs. There's a lot of more, uh, a lot more content uh, that they uploaded on the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, on Synchronicity, the extra content was that the, the three, where three of them went out and did stuff together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They kind of brought it back for this one, where uh, Nishino and Akimoto went to the Kyoto Nippon Festival thing. And it's like, oh, it's it's uh, Nishino, Akimoto, and Wakatsuki. But, like, Wakatsuki doesn't show up until the very end. Because <laughs> Wakatsuki had an event there at the yeah, yeah, at yeah. the festival. She had, like, I don't know, she was on stage talking about art or something. Uh, and so they're like, hey, look, she's on stage. And she, like, notices them. This the thing's really cute. It's, like, mm-hmm. 18 minutes long. I recommend you watch. Just because... Um, and then at the end, um, like they go up to her van, and like, oh, that's Waka's van, and like she just comes. Up. Hey guys, I'm here now. Hey, what's oh, up? Oh, this is why it's <laughs> yeah, Tabisuru Sanin trio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, we got we got the under PV. Right? Yeah, we have that too. But since the oh. single came out today, it's gone from the channel. Well, not gone, but it's short version now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the under music video, uh, it was released a while back. Mm. Um, but we were, uh... you know, we had to do the memes, and this is what we get. Yeah, dude, now. we have a short version now because we we failed you guys, dude. But yeah, the unders, keychain, center. The mm. uh, song is called Nichijo. 
Um, I'm pretty sure most of us have watched this, right? If you're a Nogi fan, yeah, at yeah. least you've watched this already. Yeah. The yeah, music so. video is weird, af, dude. Like, what is going on? Mm. I they're um, I, I the refugees. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. Survivors of some cataclysmic event. It's uh, too bad it's the short survive. version now because the best part is when there's the explosion and Rentan just sleeps through it. <laughs> um, what do you, what do you think of the PV? It's really weird. Like I have no idea what's going on. Like Rentan is just sleeping, right? And they're like all trying to wake her up. Come on, we gotta go. And then there's like this weird liquid, and like they mix shit, and like the the fruit explodes. <laughs> like what's going on? Like they're eating soup, but they're wearing sunglasses. I don't know, dude. Mm. So I, I have to admit, I didn't really pay much attention to it, narratively speaking. Um, Mm-hmm. But visually, I really like the video. Yeah, the chorus part, or the, the dance part. Mm-hmm. Like, in contrast to, you know, where they were all, all wearing white in the narrative part. It's, it's like, yeah, very yeah. striking, right? Which yeah, I think yeah, yeah. went pretty well with the song, too. Uh, the, the chorus part has a lot of impact, right? It was, like, mm-hmm. very dramatic and, like... Yeah, yeah, you have, like, this searchlight that's kind of, like, flashing yeah. throughout. That's, like, a yeah. really nice um, practical light that they use, you mm-hmm. know? It's like, oh kind of adds like to the frantic feeling right? like, like, who they're trying to find dude mm-hmm. and I, I like that part of the of the song um, mm. there's like this like rock <laughs> guitar under yeah, yeah, yeah. like i did not expect it's it's very um opposite of the a side yeah right, where, the, where karimichi tomori is like very kind of like whimsy and floaty and airy mm-hmm. this is a lot we got a little bit more weight and punch to it yeah it's got that heavier sound but i think uh it's quite good especially in yeah, the chorus yeah. part um like this the strings are very prominent mm-hmm. and uh yeah it's very dramatic can can i just you know remember how in the um okatsuki uh video i was complaining about the the four three aspect ratio during the, yes. the camcorder clips so they do that here, right? Oh, but yeah. I don't mind it here. And I think it has to do with, like, you have that little filter because it's supposed to be, like, the camera through the viewfinder. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that, like, I don't know, that makes the aesthetic a lot more obvious that you're like, okay, this is a... Yeah, they're taking the like, pictures or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you even got, like, some, some, some dust on the lens and stuff like that, mm-hmm. you know? Like yeah. maybe maybe something like that in that little video would have uh, made it a little bit le- more like obvious just from a visual standpoint that that's what's going on. Yeah, maybe in that video they could add like the the timestamp or like the yeah, wreck. A little recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little battery it display. It. Yeah, it's just the, the display. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a, yeah, it's just kind of a, a thought I had mm-hmm. when I was watching this because I was like, yeah, because yeah, it's not as jarring when it switches those shots because you instantly know what's supposed to be right. Yeah. Whereas, like, uh, the other one... I mean, yeah, obviously I knew it wasn't, like, that big. But, but you know, just a little minor detail. Mm-hmm. Um, that said, though, I think I like this second best to the A-side. The Same. unders. Um, yeah, that, like, the chorus is really good. I really like the, the chorus part. Mm-hmm. It's it's a good pairing, um, actually, for, like, the A-side and the B-side. I think they complement each other really well. Yeah. And so... They've already performed this song on a show. Oh. So that's cool. Um, Unders, Unders getting some love. Yeah, man. They gotta do more stuff. Yeah, dude. But that is pretty much it. Now all the videos on the channel are short versions. Uh, except for the main A side. Main A side, yeah. So single came out in Japan already. We need y'all to go buy it, please. I'm just waiting for it to show up on Spotify, where the title is just "Kairi Michi wa Tomawari oh, one Shitakunaru. long word. One, yeah. <sighs> please. Use the space. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for the single. I, I like it quite a bit. So. Yeah, we got one more bit of news. Mm-hmm. Um, New announcement. The chat has linked the Kohaku... Lineup. lineup for this year. 
Surprise, surprise, we got our favorite groups in here. Yeah, dude. Mm. Who who saw that coming, dude? Mm-hmm. So this will be no the feet. third appearance of Keakizaka on Kohaku. And this will be Nogizaka's fourth appearance. Yeah. Very much good. Love to, much love to Unknown for, for posting that for us. Thank you. But, um, yeah, dude. Uh, so wh- who, who are you, whose performances are you excited to see? I mean, obviously, aside from the Sakamichi, Sakamichi series, series and... I always look forward to Perfume's performances because mm. they are my fave, uh, and they always do pretty good. You know, it's very like Perfume's very like tech focused in their performances, right? They always bring out something new, so I'm pretty excited for that. Like last year, they were on top of a building using augmented reality and shit, and then the year before yeah, that, yeah, they yeah. Used, was, that was trippy. I they like used that. like yeah, they used like <laughs> VR. And then the year before that was like projection mapping, so it's like really cool tech stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, the first timers I'm pretty uh, excited for. Aimeon, I like Dalko, I like. What about Yoshiki featuring Hyde, dude? Mm, that Ooh, let's go. Shingeki no Kyojin theme, yeah, dude. dude. Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Give me that X Japan, dude. Um, so it'll be pretty. Uh, Interesting to see. <clears throat> what about you? Um, twice. Oh, their second time. Second time, you know. But uh, it, it's it's interesting to see how kind of uh, I want to see if they're gonna keep. Yeah. Like being a mainstay. Um, obviously, Jay San Daime, oh. Jay Sol Brazas and Exile. I think about. the thing with Twice is they have the advantage of having Japanese members. Like yeah, usually, yeah. like the Hallyu wave that comes over Japan, it lasts for like a year or two. Yeah, yeah, and then and it kind of falls off. Like, right? Yeah, uh, and we've seen that a few times. I think like Boa is the only one that made like a very strong. Well, well, Boa stand. transcends all border- borders. But then, yeah, Boa also made like a very solid transition into J-pop. But like, I get a feeling Twice might stay for a few more years. But uh, yeah, we got we got your uh, Kohaku lineup. Hey. Interesting to see. What do you think Kiaki's gonna perform? Probably ambivalent. Eh. I'd rather them do Garaso Ware. He has more. Ooh, yeah, Oomph. I would. I would love to see Gar- like between those two. I would love Garaso Ware. Yeah, Garaso Ware has more oomph. I think they can do more with it, yeah. as far as a more like striking and dynamic performance. Yeah, I'd go with Garaware. But I think Ambivalent is so meh. <laughs> uh, but as far as Nogi goes, I think it's you know it's gonna be Kaeru Michiwa Tomawa yeah. Ishitakunaru. That's a given. I ain't complaining, dude. I yeah, I think. I think it's my favorite Nogi single. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. They, they, okay, it's not so much like Kiaki Zaka where I I feel like <laughs> the last the last one that I like real like. Mm, it's for me okay just kind of honest like looking back it's been kind of downhill for me personally since um Futari Saison oh damn like, that's like two years dude Fukio okay Fukio own is not like it's not like they're bad since it's just that Fukio own is not really my thing I know a lot of people like it but it's not for me um Kaze Ni I like I like quite a bit but I still like Futari Saison more yeah, I think for me at least, right. Futari Season is still my favorite Kiki song. Yeah. So. Grass, and then this year was kind of for me a weak year for them. Grasso Ware was like, I, I liked, but it didn't really have like a long presence. Like Futari Season, I still listen to this day. Yeah, of course. Um, and then Ambivalent is just like, ugh, get out of here. Missed the mark with that one. That is uh, that is it for the news for today. You know, a little, little catch up week. But it's not the end of the show. No, it's not, not. yet. Not yet. Um, it's time for the TV show roundup. Ye how, damn it! Um, is... So we won't be playing catch up on the variety shows. Uh, if you guys watched us live last week, then you would know that we did cover lightly the shows last week uh, during the post show. Mm-hmm. Um, Good thing it would just take up too much time. Yeah, the show, thing this, this uh, takes up half the show. <laughs> this week's shows are not the continuation of last week's. Hmm. So, um, can I just say I only watched uh, Nogi Bingo and Keiakake? 
okay, good, because I didn't really pay attention to Kea Kake. So, <laughs> yeah, anyway, this, yeah, this is the, uh, the, the segment of the show where we recap some of the weekly TV shows of Sakamichi series groups like Hiragana Oshi, Kiakite Kakenai, Nogi Zaka Kojichu, and Nogi Bingo. But we also cover the one off stuff they do, like specials. Uh, this week, they had the really, really long Yu Nanishini Nihon E uh, special that was like three hours long, and we're not going to go over all of that because I haven't watched everything. I I'm, uh, I only watch like clips that end up on Twitter. That's probably the best way to do it if yeah. you didn't watch it. Uh, I watched uh, like an hour of it. It's like three hours. Geez. But they also appeared on Uchi no Gaia, uh, Suimasen. I didn't watch that either yet. Um, pretty. I'm looking forward to watching that, but I haven't watched it yet because it it releases this. It released today, I think. Yeah. So I haven't I, had time. I, I literally finished moving my TV like an hour and a half before we started the show. <laughs> so there's our excuse for the week. So it's just the regular four and a little bit of the Yuwa Nanishini mm. Nihone. But let's go to Hiragana Oshi. Hiragana Oshi, they're drawing stuff this week. Oh, well, it's like every time I miss a Hiragana Oshi, it is like totally up my alley. Like last yeah. time I missed one, it was like, oh, it was a cooking episode. I'm like, <laughs> damn it. Um, I, love, I love Idol's drawing, dude. They, some of them look so stupid. Yeah, so, you know, Hiragana, there's some artists, but of course there's some really terrible artists. I don't want to say that. but um, So first they... Uh, they drew portraits of each other, and they're like showing it. You know, uh, Katoshi's portrait of uh, Kumi that we've seen before. You know, it's, she looks all old, got the mole. It's like, wait, uh, Audrey's like, we've seen this before in the book. This is weird. Um, there's some pretty fun, fun ones. You know, like Kyonko actually uses the the colors. <laughs> Like most of them are just like you know the the black marker and black and white. Mm. Kyoko like colored in the skin and everything. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, and then they went to the next segment, I mean, which was like they try to illustrate like athletic events. So first was the one hundred meter, and uh, I forgot whose whose drawing it was, but it's like it shows someone running and they tried to draw the track, but it looks like a ramp going up. They're like, yo, what? Is this like Ninja Warrior shit, dude? Like trying to get up that wall? Like, what the heck? But then uh, Katoshi drew Kumi again running. It's like the same, mm. <laughs> like the old looking. She's all running. He's like, oh, wow, that's cool, man. Like, so how fast does she run it? Katoshi's like, I don't know, like eight seconds maybe? And they're like, damn, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a hundred meters, bro. <laughs> um, there's the high jump illustrations. Um. And then they talked about Kyonko's. And she's like, yeah, I tried to draw it like from a perspective. But it's like, it looks like from top down. Of like the person you know, like jumping over the bar. But she's mm. saying it isn't. It's like, no, you know, it's like this angle. So like they're tra- like trying to talk about it. Like, oh yeah, here's the the like the poles the ball, that's holding yeah. up the bar. And then they're like, what? Like, okay, never mind. Let's just skip it, dude. Um, and then there's the Kibasen. Like the... How do you translate the horse thing, right? Where you try to grab oh, the uh, the vaulting horse? No, not that one. It's the oh. the one on the field where there's like the, the three people holding out one person, and they're they're like the horse. And they're, oh, they the to... cow cavalry battle. Yeah, that one. Um, and there's yeah, some yeah. like pretty nice illustrations. I think like Matsuda had some good ones. They highlighted her stuff. Also, some people drew stick figures, like uh whatever um and then the next segment was they were supposed to draw kasuga so he goes away and he comes back he has like a bathrobe on he has like no shirt and they're like oh my god dude he's like coming out slowly mm. oh, so he he like stands on the on the little like on the little stage thing that rotates and he like takes off his his bathrobe he has like no shirt on they're like oh my god no <laughs> so they had four of them drawing it was like uh, it was Kanemura, Kyonko, Katoshi, and Hamagish. They all draw Kasuga like, and it, like Kyonko comes back with the the colored skin. 
It's like, oh, there you go. But then uh, Katoshi's was like the best. Like the face was really detailed. But then for like his arms, because he like flexed and stuff. It's just like all these squiggly lines. But Kasuga picks hers anyway. It's like, yeah, that was the best one. Good job, dude. And at the very end, there's a performance of Nok wa Surunai. By it's Katoshi, Takase, Higashimura, uh, Paripi-chan, and Bimiho. Let's go. And I still haven't listened to the album, so this was new. And it was pretty <laughs> one cool. One day, one day we'll know these songs. You know, it had like the piano, very eccentric, uh, kind of in the same vein. That's pretty Sui cool. Obino Campanella hype, dude. Mm, yes. And it seems like next week, Iguchi Mama returns. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's coming like a, a show favorite now. Yeah, dude. It's good. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so that was Hiragana Oshi. Next, hey. we have Keakite Kakenai. Oh, wait. They don't do that anymore. It's uh, so of this. <laughs> Switch it up. Keakizaka. Yeah, that one. Uh, uh, they got new outfits for this one. It's more old, yeah, like a school good. uniform. Mm-hmm. Got the skirt, got the vest, the jacket. So this one was a like, oh, it would be bad if you did not remember these quiz, right? So it's like uh, personal moments between the members. Um, so a member will come up and then they'll, she'll sit in the chair, right? And they'll ask her six things, questions from the different members. They all re- like correlate to some special memory between them, right? And then um, if they can uh, remember it, they get a point. If they don't, then the punishment and the chair is one of those like super fast spinny oh mr box in the chat with a hello subscribe what's good dude um anyways uh you know if uh if they fail or they don't get them all right they'll get spun hella quick Mm. so so tucci's like oh well what do they get if they win and so it's like well uh no it's just it's not one of those (laughs) things it's just a batsu he was like "Mm, that's not really fair man If, if you're gonna punish them you should give him something for getting everything right, dude. Yeah. So you know what that means. And he's like, what What does that mean, dude? He's like, the Sawabe Prize, dude. Ooh, money. Mm-hmm. So um, I think it was, uh, what is it? It was like basically $1,000 if you can get all six right, <laughs> dude. Yeah, so, so they got uh, uh, what, like 10 seconds to answer each question. Yeah. Uh, six of them. Yeah. And there's gotta be something in the edit here that's I'm missing because it was, ooh, it goes by really quick, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so um, first is Ozeki. Ozeki. Uh, I can't I can't remember the individual questions. She gets one right at least. Yeah, I yeah. think the one she got right was Suzumon's. Where it's like, oh, where were we when we like, coincidentally oh, right, ran yeah. to each other, and she was like, oh, oh. Shinjuku or something, or yeah, Shibuya, yeah. and it was correct. But she didn't get Risa's <laughs> question right. You're supposed to be close. Yeah, what the yeah, hell, dude? Like, oh, oh, where did uh we went out to eat together? What did we get, dude? She was like, oh, hamburger. No. Like it, it, it just seemed like Ozeki was playing like a, like a, phrase and response game. You know, where they would just <laughs> yeah. say something and she just spit the first thing that came to her mind. Right, right. Um, but uh, it was it was Suika Aisu, dude. Watermelon mm. ice cream. Not, yes. not even close, Ozek. Nope. Um, oh, one was like a, was from, from Sugai. Like, what was a, you know, when I had to center uh, Fukuyo Aon and I was really nervous, he sent me a, a text, dude. It was, oh, know, yeah. Um, what did, uh, you know, it really it really meant a lot to me. What did, what did you say? And she was like, bitch, I don't know. Ganbate, ne? Some, <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Well, but she wasn't, she wasn't wrong because she, was, she did remember it. She was like, yeah, it was like a really long letter, though. You know, so I, I'd say the fault here is really on Sugai-sama for yeah. asking that question, like, dude. It was, like, it was like a paragraph long, dude. <laughs> like, you know, she's like, oh, you know, all the members' feelings, you know, what, don't want you to, like, just burden yourself. You know, I just want to just express our feelings and our unity and shit like that. You know, it was, it was sweet. She was like, yeah, but I was like... I was crying when I when I wrote that shit, dude. And like <laughs> you were crying, but how come you don't remember it? She's like, oh, dude, I'm a I'm a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> and she was like, oh, kusoda, like yeah. She says that like a couple of times. But like, yeah, uh, she only got one, so she yeah. experienced the spinning chair. Yeah. Um, oh, and then next is Oda Nana, 
everyone's favorite boyfriend up until this moment, dude. Now, now we see the flaw in Oda Nana as a boyfriend. She's the, she's the type of boyfriend that would like forget your birthday, mm-hmm. and forget it's Valentine's Day, all the special anniversaries and stuff because she Can't does not blame, remember though, when she dating all of them. You know what I'm yeah, saying. Dude. Oh damn, dude. <sighs> Gotta you know, she gets her facts mixed up. Yeah, dude, but she she got everything wrong. Yeah. Um, there's a couple funny ones like uh, <laughs> Suzumon. <laughs> it's like oh. Uh, lately, I haven't been loving you anymore. <laughs> Damn. Why, why is that the case? And she's like, uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> she kind of like, uh, yeah, doesn't really give answers. Um, I think the answer was like, was it, oh, I see, you know, I see you getting all cuddly with like, you know, Koike and someone else. And that shit, that shit hurts. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm tired of hurting so much. So I'm like, I'm gonna just, for- I'm gonna just forget y'all. And then the she was like, "What is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> like you're the problem here. Dude. <laughs> like how did it get this far? Uh, it was so good. Um, yeah, but that was a funny one. There's a lot of um, uh, little things. Uh, you know, uh, Reese was like, "Oh, what 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 do I say if you you won't let me into your room and shit like that?" And I like, I kind of feel bad for for Oda Nana because a lot of this just seems like they just want to bother her all the time. Yeah. Like, she's like, oh, you know, um, like, uh, the answer was like, oh, you know, I'll make threats and shit like that, you know, or not threats, but it's like, you know, uh, hey, didn't I, I buy your meal last time? How are you not going to let me in, dude? What's wrong with you? You know, (laughs) some shit like that. Or, uh, I guess, uh, Huyuka to trick her to join the conversation to hang out. It's like, hey, I, I, we need to have, I need to have a serious talk with you. Could be like, yeah, dude, if I just say we just want to hang out and shit, she won't come out. But if you tell <laughs> yeah, her it's, like, yeah. serious. <laughs> like, oh, word, I'll be leave, there. Just leave her alone, dude. <laughs> they made her look so bad, dude. I don't blame more than not, dude. They're just, like, <laughs> trying to antagonize her and shit. Dude. She's just like, I just want to fucking read my books in peace, dude. <laughs> um, up next is uh, Risa. She also um, got none of them right. Yeah, yeah. Trying to remember, I'm trying to remember some some Risa questions here. Um, there was one from Ozek, right? Yeah, yeah. What was one from Ozek? Oh, it was like, oh, what did uh? Okay, so like people would answer her questions and shit, right? Like, like when they when she got zero at the end, they would tell the real answers. Yeah, and she's like, oh yeah, that did happen, or you know whatever. Mm-hmm. Comes Ozeki, and the question was like, hey, so uh, what was the thing that you ate on the bus that like? really like r- really like irritated me or whatever right and the answer was like oh you had uh it's like natto right yeah natto maki like natto rolls or whatever and then she was just like oh huh. and like <laughs> bitch you don't even pretend to remember this name. god damn it i can't uh, remember uh, I, can't, I can't remember too many of uh too many of the other questions for her yeah, but, uh... But, uh, it's good. And then moving along to Moria. She got three of them right. Um, I like the first question where, like... She just, like, spaced out, like... Uh... <laughs> so Moria came in, she was like, Oh, I've noticed that, yeah, you know, like, the members are getting anything. It's it's because, like, you know, they weren't answering fast enough. You know, you only have ten seconds, so you gotta be fast. And as soon as they asked her the question, she's like, Uh... <laughs> yeah, she, like, blanked out, like... <laughs> <laughs> so good dude um but she does oh before this so they do say like oh hey if you can answer like three questions we'll give you like a hundred dollars right sawabe will give you some yeah, money sawabe is like well i mean ozek got one and then the last two got nothing so i think i i'm safe dude but she pulls the clutch dude motivated by that that dollar dollar bills she yep. gets three of them right uh, <laughs> you don't two doubt moria dude like two of them pertaining to butts dude it was like um, we have our. Uh, it was confirmed, dude, by the members themselves that she got that ass. Mm. Yeah, first worst one was like, oh, what is the part of uh, Habu? Oh, no, but what is the part of Odanana that you always touch too much? That was like, she was like, oh, the butt, dude. She's like, oh, got him. What is the part of your body that Habu always ends up looking at during practice? Oh, it's my butt, dude. And then uh, the last one was like, uh, it was like, oh, what a, 
it was from Nehru. It was like, when we go out to eat, what is uh, the fake name that you give yourself, you know? And then it's Miyabi. But, um, yeah, dude, they're like, yo, Habu, what's up with this shit, dude? She's like, no, she got a fine ass, dude. <laughs> Other lewd Kayaki fans rejoiced. Yes. yes. Validated. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude, she, uh, she, uh, she, like, was so nonchalant about it, dude. She's like, oh, yeah. Sticky nose shitty dude. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with this group? Well, Thank okay, you, Abu. Mm-hmm. Confirmed. Oh, you know what's good, dude? Um, cause, cause Risa tries to, um, not Risa. Uh, Moria tries to kind of uh, deny the perv as far as like touching Odanana's butt, right? She's like, oh no, no, no. It's just to make sure that you know she'd been working out, dude. Trying to keep it everybody in check, you know? Trying to see if she's been hitting them squats, you know. Because earlier, Oda Nana was like, it was like, uh, <laughs> what is what is the, like, it was a question from Kobayashi. It was like, what is the thing you do that, like, besides, like, flipping up my skirt that I just can't stand? Oh, yeah. And then it was like, oh, touching your legs. Oh, touching your butt. Uh, like, you know, hugging you. Uh, and they were all wrong. It's like, dude, you're just incriminating yourself, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like, yo, dude, you got all those, like, you, you just admitted, like, all those things. You're right. basically a criminal. <laughs> Damn and it. the sad thing is, the the real answer is also very criminal-like behavior. <laughs> basically, when they go into an elevator, uh, Kobayashi tries to, like, sneak away to the corner of it or whatever, right? To get away from Odanana. But Odanana just corners her in, dude. Just boxes oh, her in. Oh, man. <clears throat> You're mine now. You're not going nowhere. She, like, presses all the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yo, that's some criminal like behavior. And so yeah, going back to Moria, she's like, nah, nah, I don't I don't be touching touching uh Oda Nana like that, dude. I'm not a perv. I'm not into that sure. gay shit, boy. I'm just trying to make sure she's doing her squats, you know. And then uh the, the the fake name thing is I guess when they go out they call each other by fake names just because, you know, they don't want people hearing in the conversation and them calling each other Akanen and yeah, Naru yeah. and shit like that. Then you'd be like, Is that Keaki Zak? Like the the waters <laughs> turn like that uh what is that animal? The Jif? Oh. <laughs> the, 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 the prairie dog? Or yeah, whatever. the prairie dog Jif. But uh, that's pretty um, much what they did for... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a good episode, definitely. It's probably one of the funniest ones in a while. There's a lot of Japanese taken, but... Mm-hmm. Um, you get a little bit of insight, I guess. It's, mm-hmm. it's pretty enjoyable. It's pretty entertaining. Yeah, the... The, the watching, like, the the audience, as far as, like, the members watching while the, all the members are getting tested is, is actually pretty fun for once. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that they get a lot of crap for that as far as, like, mm, you know, they kind of look checked out, right? But it looks like everyone's having a good time this episode, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so that's Keakake. Moving mm-hmm. on to Nogizaka Kojichu. Nogichu. Mm-hmm. It's the single hit campaign episodes. <laughs> I don't know how many episodes this will be, uh, but it'll be at least two. Um, and so, it, you know, 22nd single coming out, Nishino's last with Nogizaka. And so it's going to feature her. And it's like her going home 46 miles from 46 miles away to back to Nogizaka or Nogizaka Station. And it's kind of like her. The Kairi Michi, dude. Yeah, so it's her kind of going home. And so they start at the at the place where they shot the Itsuka Dekiru covers um, and then Kaz comes and joins her and it's like oh do you remember this do you remember this she's like no I don't so they try to remake the shot of the cover with, with Nishino and Ash mm. and so um, you know they, it's like a temple or a shrine area um, and then after they do all that stuff they get on a bus like they take a whole bus and then they start driving back towards Tokyo to Noizaka. And so, you know, while they're in the bus, they just got to, uh, they uh, they talk about, you know, some moments uh, from the show and, like, other stuff, like, from PV shootings. Um, they show the, the bungee jump that she did in Macau. Mm. Some, some fond memories, too. Mm-hmm. Just in general, like, Kaz doing funny stuff on the show and stuff like that. Um, and so they get to a, their first stop and Kaz leaves. And so they're just kind of recapping. And they're like, yeah, dude, we like we wanted to talk so much in the bus that the bus actually like 
took a longer route to get to where we were supposed yeah. to or whatever. Yeah, you gotta do, take the, the the detour, dude. Right. Um, and so Kaz leaves, and then Wakatsuki, Inoue, and Nakata come and join her in the bus because yeah, they're like all the same age and stuff. And so freaking Sai and Yan looking so comfy, dude. Mm. Did you see she was like wearing this fleece coat? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. be like, mm. <laughs> so soft. <laughs> that comfort. Uh, but yeah, they, they stop at the hospital where they shot a scene in Kizuitara Kataomoi. It was only Nishino, Shiraish, and Hashimoto, right? Uh, it was only mm. the three of them. And like, yeah, do you remember this? This was a hospital. Like, they go to the roof where they shot the scene, and Mayan's like, damn, that was a hospital? Damn. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I remember. <laughs> they like try to re- recreate the scene and stuff. Um, and then they back on the bus they talk about the coming of age ceremony because they all turned 20 at the same time well i mean Mm. they all did the coming of age um and then it shows the the episodes where they went to eat fancy food they like split up and then at the sushi place saiyan was eating the shrimp (laughs) you remember that dude she was like she had the shrimp in her mouth but she kept chewing Yeah, 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 yeah so cute dude but then after that they all leave uh the three leave and then manatsu comes and gets on the bus and they go to pacifico yokohama no it's a it's a place where they have handshakes and stuff but that's also the the place where they perform kizuitara kata omoi the first time it was also nishino's first centered single right Mm. Um, and like they performed it on a bus (laughs) i'm not a bus a truck and Nishino was like, yo, dude, I did not want to perform it the first time on a bus. I mean, a truck. What the hell, dude? Like, yo, that was like so significant to me, right? Like my first center single, my, the first performance, but on a truck. What the hell is this? Yeah, yeah. Mm, dangerous. Dude. And then they like talk about the Seifuku no Mannequin Senbats. Ooh, time to cry, dude. It's just, yeah, it's where... Uh, the real talk time, dude. Yeah, uh, this was before my time right mm. but you know manatsu was on hiatus for a bit because of uh school and stuff school yeah and so she finally comes back and she gets a fukujin spot on say fuku no mannequin and it like pushed nishino back to the back like the, the third row or whatever mm. they kind of had some beef right that's their so differences fuck this bitch dude fucking bitch and then they're uh, good now dude but they good because uh what was that second birthday live or mm. something like that nishino like welcome back manatsu mm. right uh, on stage and stuff and so they they like kind of did that on the music video too right where like in the music video like nishino leaves nishino dips out for a bit yeah because she's but like that, i don't know man yeah. has a hard, hard time at practice yeah and so when she comes back manatsu's like okairi and stuff <laughs> so much history uh, but yeah they're like really close now so that's cool um, but the hit campaign continues next week where uh, like Yoda gets on the bus and like there's a you know Mayan does too so we'll mm. see more of that later next week um yeah so it's a it's quite a good watch i think it's uh i don't know i enjoyed it <laughs> yeah yeah it's a very like nishino focused obviously but it's, it was like it was a nice watch sense with her like graduating and then this being the, the campaign mm-hmm. for her it's also a it, yeah a dip, they didn't climb a mountain this time right <clears throat> that's gonna that's gonna be the uh the ending dude she's gonna have to climb the all right, the, we're back. The, the Nogi, one. she's have to climb Nogi Zaka, dude. Oh, the Zaka go up. The, oh, if that's the, the actual side. ending, I will cry. Holy shit, dude! That would, they, like, that would be a good ending, right? Yeah, like no mountain to climb. You just have to walk up. Cause that's, Zaka. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was Nogi Chu. I'm looking forward to the next, the continuation. It should be pretty. Yeah, good. yeah, for sure. Oh, we got Nogi Bingo. 
little bit a little bit more lighthearted. We have Nogi Bingo. Um Wagamama Queen once again. This time it's Kazumi. Mm, Kaz. Um we got my little sister, uh Mukai, as well as uh Sato, Katie, and uh Kawago all up in here. Can I just say they all look fine this they episode. Look very nice cuz they had to yeah, go to a Yeah, you go to a fancy French fancy restaurant. restaurant. Right? But uh man, hair and makeup on point, dude. They're, I was like like I always I always thought Kawago was like really pretty, but like this episode I was like I think the hair really did it. Yeah. For me at least, like the lighter shade looks very good on her. Yeah, for sure. But uh fortunately for Mukai, the the thing that Kazumin has been wanting is like, you know what? I really want to eat some foie gras and truffles. Mm, fancy like, I know, French I know, shit. I know, I know this show's got budget. Give it. I want, I want some of that fancy food, dude. Yeah. So that's where, that's where they go. It's like a, uh, a restaurant uh, owned by or produced by the former Iron Chef France, mm. dude, or French cooking. Iron Chef, Chef Sakai, dude. Sakai. Um, but uh, they got the uh, I can't remember the name of the actual chef they are working, but he's kind of I guess his own uh, celebrity chef. I guess is the proper word they call they call them like charisma chef. Mm-hmm. All right, in Japan. But um, you know, as usual, we got our nicknames. Um, Kazumin, she wanted hers to be Miss, right? Because mm-hmm. you know she's a lady today. You know, yes, her fancy the tiara food. and everything. And then. Uh, Kyle was like, nah, bitch, you nose shadow, dude. You always doing them contours on your nose like I don't see you. But, um, you know, so they they, 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 they compromise. She's like, okay, you're Miss Nose, dude. Um, Kawa goes Castella because, you know, she's from Nagasaki. And Nagasaki but they make is... it an, an actual name, dude. It's yeah, Cass Tella, dude. Tella, yeah, dude. And then uh, what is it? We got we got Mukai. She's emo man because she loves. She's all about that emo, dude. Mm-hmm. All about them potatoes for life. Potatoes. And then uh, Katie. She's wearing all red, looking very very gorgeous. So she's like, today I'm Aka Ranger, dude. Red I liked Ranger. her dress. She looked very nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So you go to the restaurant. You know, they go in the back. The chef's like, oh, let me let me show you how to cook that foie gras. Oh, do you guys know what foie gras is? All of them are like, no. And then uh, Kazumi's like, it's like duck, right? But like this part. <laughs> she doesn't know. Like, she's just like, yeah, yeah. He's like, this uh, area? Yes, actually. It's uh, this foie gras means duck liver. I guess foie is the liver and gua means duck. Um, very, very unethical food. Foie's uh, grass, you, boy. You watch how, uh, how they have to make it. But mm-hmm. it's delicious as fuck. So I don't blame them for when you eat it. I haven't uh, actually had like proper voice grass um it's bad because i like i don't eat it anymore out of like a from yeah, like yeah. an ethical standpoint right um and it was illegal here for a while right 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 but like it's not anymore but i still make it a point not to because just the know, way how they're the animals yeah, are treated yeah. and shit, right? It's basically the ducks are just, like, not allowed to do anything, and they're just being force-fed, mm-hmm. like, fat through tubes and shit all the time yeah. just to get their liver as fatty as possible. Word. Um, yeah, it's really sad, but God, it tastes so good. But anyways, uh, <laughs> so the chef cooks them up the foie gras, dude, and they're like, oh, my God, that shit smells so good. Mm. He, like, uses the wine and shit and, like, all the flames. They're yeah, like, dude. oh, shit. Before he even does anything, like, just sizzling it on the pan. The, whoa! And he's like, that gets a whoa, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Wait till I shit. use the wine. Yeah. But um, you know, it's like, okay, guys, you guys want to eat some? Want to try some of that foie gras? Like, hell yeah, my dude. But Idris like, but. And they all know it's coming. Cas knows because she's yeah. been on the show before. Yeah, she's like, oh, it's, it's gonna be this no shit again. It's, it's the like, card. It's the Joker cards only. One of y'all gets to eat it, dude. And bless up to the gods of TV. My little sister, Mukai, gets <laughs> the fucking foie gras. Dude. No one mm. better. No one Let better. Let my girl eat, dude. Let my girl eat. So she's like, mm, yeah, dude. Uh, let me get some of this. Mm, mm, mm. You know, gets her. Like, she's all, it's so good. Oh, cousin, I mean, you, you wanted some, right? You you know, this is your show. Here, let me just, let me just give you a little. Yeah. 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 
Just get like punked all of them, dude. You want some of this? I don't think so. Yeah. You know. So good. Um, next, uh, next he pulls out the truffles, dude. Um, it's all big and shit. What is it? It's like, yeah, dude. Like, oh, do you want to? Do you want to try cutting this, dude? It's just like what? So Kaz gets to, or Miss Nose, sorry, gets to cut it. You know, just use you, you slide it on the mandolin, right? Mm-hmm. But she's like freaking out about. It. She's like, oh, this is, oh, oh, this is just pure happiness, dude. Oh, what, oh, what is this? Oh, it's, oh, it's happiness. Oh, what oh, mm, happiness? I'm like, <laughs> you sound crazy as fuck right now. Or... Find the words, man. Mm-hmm. So now that's like, hey, dude, it is time to make. The, uh, to serve the main dish, dude, it's gonna be the the foie gras, on uh, was it some some rice pilaf, right? Mm-hmm. Butter rice pilaf, you know. Um, but guess what? Only, th- only three of y'all get to eat. Damn. And and I was expecting to see the Joker cards again, but they Not changed yet. it up on us, dude. They're like, all right, you gotta you gotta. You know, the chef working hard in the kitchen, making y'all some foie gras So you guys going to have to, uh, you know, get him, get him a little moon egg cute. Mm, chef wanted in on this, too. Mm. He's got the dude, camera and shit. There, the, dude, there's a shot of it. So the first part is like, okay, um, you got to say something to the chef to, to wake him up, right? Like, how can you give him a good moon egg first thing in the morning? Mm. You see him laying there, and he's got, like, the purest look of joy on his face, he's dude. Like, Yes. I don't mind cooking the liver for this shit. But um, what is it? So first, only the first top three get to eat. Yeah. Last place does. So they reveal two and three. Yeah. Second place was uh, Kawago, and then one and four was Katie. And then so who would be number one? Either it's Kazumin gets to eat or Mukai. That's the worst choices, dude. Yeah. Pull off the top. My little sister, dude. Let's go. She ain't already, dude. Dude, okay, I was literally watching this earlier, like, a little bit before we started the show. I'm, like, laying in bed, and I'm, like, uh, like, I, 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 you know, just as I'm watching the show, I thought this was going to be the last dish. I'm, like, oh, dude, it's going to be Kazumin because Mukai already ate earlier. And, you know, just knowing for IDTV shows, it's just that's how it's going to be. But then they pulled it out. I'm like, mm. yeah, dude. They're just like the three are eating. Kaz yeah. is just like, She's like crying, dude. Crying. I was like, oh my, it's go- it's all gone wrong, dude. She's dude. the center. I was, I had such mixed feelings. I was like, dude, this, she's the Wagga Mama queen. I was, this I felt so wanted, sad for her, dude. But she ain't gonna eat. She was like, bawling, like, oh, the food. <laughs> like, oh, dude. Yeah, but, they're like, but hey, hey, guess what? What we got? We got one more dish for you, you remember she wanted to eat truffles too right so we got that steak dude mm. what's on top of that dude some truffle dude and i believe some foie grazy on that too yeah i think it was like steak. yeah yeah so this was the meal of the night right so they they, <clears throat> they gotta do the same thing i forget what the uh what the appeal was i think it's like they, they wanted to go out or something like that yeah yeah um this time, uh, Katie gets number two, and Kawago gets three. Once again, those two are guaranteed. Those real. two are the real winners of this episode. Yeah, <laughs> so first and second, who's it gonna be, right? Pull off the top, Kazumin, dude. Miss mm. Nose gets to eat, dude. I had such a mixed feeling. Right, I, I so. Like I feel like if she had not gotten it, it would have been really funny from a variety standpoint. But it would have been horrible to watch. Like, I, I would have felt so bad watching it. Yeah, dude. But, <laughs> You'd be like, what the fuck, man? But then I, I'm I, the I center. But then I, I wanted my little sister to eat, dude. It's my bias as an older brother. <laughs> she ate twice already, dude. Gives yeah, I, other I people a chance. Every meal, dude. But no, I like she, her. Uh... She, she she lowered her power level for her, for Kazumin, dude. She's like, all right, I gotta, I gotta let her eat, dude. I like her uh, reaction. Like, yeah, Kazumin, while she's eating her food, crying, she's like, oh, dude. Uh, the camera didn't pick it up earlier, but. Like, Mukai whispered in my ear, like, oh, yo katana, dude. So I'm like, mm. I raised, I raised her well, dude. She's such a good kid. <laughs> God damn she knows how to look out for herself. I like when they, too. like, like, ah, oh, Mukai, that's too bad, huh? And, like, they pan over, but she's, like, smiling. But then she, like, <laughs> she's, like, oh, I'm sad now. Like, damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
good episode. Good episode. Um, <coughs> Indeed. Great group. Everyone looks fantastic, and uh, you know it's got it's got my little sister and the Kaz in it, so I can't complain. Yep. Uh, next week, Ashua Center. So we'll see what happens then. I think Katie's in that one too. Ooh, let's go. Two dude. in a row. Get let's get her go. some more screen time, dude. Mm-hmm. She's she's been on a pretty pretty bang up glow up herself, dude. Indeed. Uh, but um, let's cover part of You Are Nani Shini Nihone because I kind of watched it. I didn't watch the whole thing yet though. But it's the Nogi special. This is the show that Banana Man hosts um, mm. regularly where they interview foreigners and be like, hey, why are you in Japan, huh? Why are you in Japan? What, what you, are you what doing you here, huh? Um, usually it's just like the show's producers, but this time we got Nogizaka doing it. And so first it's uh, Iku-chan at the airport. This is kind of the regular show. They just go up to people and talk to them. What are you doing here? Um, and see if it's interesting enough for them to tag along or you know let the people... Let, if the people let them tag along so like the first day sorry i'm already laughing at the first one in my head <laughs> oh so like the first day she like she spends like eight or nine hours at the airport trying to talk to people um but she didn't she doesn't get anyone right to like mm. would allow her to like the show to go with them and she gets like, rejected a bunch and shit and so like the second day um more success right um, she goes up to these dudes from Switzerland. They're like, oh, what are you here? Like, oh, uh, I'm here uh, to check out some of these shops. Uh, I'm an illustrator, and I like manga and shit like that. And they're like, oh, that's cool. Can you show us some of your illustrations? And he's like, oh, no, I can't show it on TV. <laughs> like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> like, okay, show it show it to Ikuta then. And like, he dude, takes out his like... phone, and he's like showing her, and she's like, oh, shit, dude. <laughs> And she's like, whoa. <laughs> and like, so they leave. And then like, Yo, what was it? The staff's like, uh, what was it? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's, uh, you know, very sexy stuff. It's probably like some doujin shit, dude. Yeah, dude, that's <laughs> The lewd hentai. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's all, it's all that BL, dude. It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's, uh... Oh, it whoa. Topless, it was topless Midoriya and Bakugo making Oh, out. God, no. <laughs> The image is <laughs> seared into my brain. Um, oh, but then so good. They finally uh, go up to someone who, who uh, would let him tag yeah. along. And this, this bro from Dallas. And he's like, chill af, dude. It's like, oh, where are you from? He's like, Dallas, Texas. Oh. <laughs> he's all chill and shit. He's like, oh, why are you here? And he's like, oh, I always travel somewhere new on my birthday. And then, like, it shows all the pictures of him traveling every year from since he was, like, in his late 20s. He's, like, 40 now. And it's like, yeah, you know, first time in Japan, I wanted to try something new. I want to go to this uh, place where they, you know, catch fish. Or you catch fish and they cook it for you or whatever. He's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Can we tag along? He's like, yeah, yeah. Dude was hella chill. <laughs> so, yeah, dude. So, like, oh, man. yeah, they go into the city and, like, he goes to, you know, they go to the restaurant. And I think Hiragana has been here when they did that oh, yeah. show with Kinky Kids. Um, mm, mm, mm. Where they catch the show and like you hold it and you take a picture and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like he's ordering sake and everything and she like pours it for him. And then, you know, she uh, she brings out some cake and sings to him like, dude spent his birthday with Ik-chan, dude. She even like... dude. The the best. She uh, like sings happy birthday to him, and he's like, "Damn, she got some pipes. That's good." Why like, am I gonna get Ikuta to sing for me on my birthday? Fuck. Now I know every January seventh, I'm just gonna fly to Japan from now on and just chill out <laughs> at the airport waiting. Josh could have gone like a <laughs> gone an earlier for a flight or some shit. <laughs> you want Nani Shini Nihonde? Oh, uh, I'm here to see no exactly. Uh, uh hi. Next. <laughs> No, I'll just move along. Shit. Uh, but then uh, it goes to the next part, which has Matsumura, and she's at the Tobu Nico line, uh, mm. which has a lot of activity with for foreigners. Um, and most of the people there that she talks to has like, is they're there to check out temples and you know, cultural shit. Yeah. So then they're like, 
going around the like the market and stuff you go up to these two guys they're like buying food and stuff and they're like oh what's up can we tag along I'm like sure uh, and then so they, they they buy some snacks and then they uh they're like oh we want to go check out these bridges um and apparently like one of them is like very knowledgeable and shit and the history yeah, like, yeah oh that's cool like matsumura has never even been to these areas right but then the one guy he's like <laughs> he's he's like oh i like uh, they're like oh do you know nogizaka he's like yeah i'm a fan or like i like nogizaka but i'm a kayaki fan they're like, oh, word. And he's like, naming off the songs and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, do you know yeah. any Nogizaka? You know? Yeah, and then it's like, oh, do you know any Nogizaka fan, uh, song? And he's like, yeah, like, influencer. And he's like, you know, she's like doing the moves and shit. Then and the producer, and like, the, the yeah, the staff's like, like, oh, you didn't realize she's like a Nogizaka member? And he's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so good dude and she's like, like no he's like 46 this and he's like oh shit i fucking goofed. i done goofed <laughs> he did not got recognize the... matsura sayori shame for this brain shameful dude i would if he was on twitter i'd stay quiet and be like i will not admit to anybody on on nogizaka tea list that that was me Dude, never. he's never going to be able to post any two shots or anything like that. No, never. Or any pictures of himself on on Twitter, dude. He's going to... Right. He'd have to, like, hardcore be like, like, oh, no, I, his face, I only like Kiyaki Zaka. Yeah, yeah. I know Nogizaka songs, on, but uh, I don't know any of the members. Like, you know, I heard Influencer, but, you know, it's just a radio thing. I didn't not, really. not, not my kind of jam. Spotify. I'm, you know, uh, you know Kiyaki Zaka for life. You know what I mean? Hiragana. <laughs> Damn, dude! And it, he like d- doubles down hella hard and shit. Like, <laughs> oh god, I did not recognize like, much. It, you know, it, it's not like it was like uh like a third gen member. Yeah, dude, it's like fucking that. Matsumura. If it's anyone, you would notice, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> She's yeah. like one of the more popular members. That guy had no excuse if he like been a Fukujin. For everything except, you know, that, that one period. But we can uh, talk about that. Yeah, later. that's... <clears throat> but, um, yeah, they go to the bridge and, like, the dude is, like, laying down some history and shit. And so they got to the bridge and, like, they write little messages. And they throw, like, a paper airplane off the bridge. And Banana Man's watching, like, Yo, you're just littering the river. What the hell? Because, like, the, like, the planes just go into the river. And it's like, that's yeah. weird. Um, that's what we do, you know. That's all I watch though. Uh, Word, like Tamachan Sakaguchi was also doing the same thing as uh, Matsumura, and then I think Kaz and Yoda were also at the airport. But uh, that's for later viewings. I didn't watch Uchigoi no Gaia, as we talked about earlier. I'll watch it later. That's it. Hey. See you next week. I don't know the ending. Uh, make sure you uh, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter so you always know when we're going live and whenever we have new videos out. Um, check us out on uh, twitch.tv slash slope club. So if you're free Tuesday evenings Pacific Standard Time, you can always watch us live, hang out in the chat. And yeah, as always, we are Slope Club. Be good. Bye. Y'all. Josh will be back next week. Hey. Good shit. Bye. <laughs>